Well, I got off to a great start by forgetting to put the camera on when I started the drawing. I'm drawing this with a 0.2mm pen. I was going to use a 0 0.3, but I decided that that would have just been too black with lines for the scale of the drawing and the level of detail that was on it. So I switched to a 0 0.2 trying to establish proportions with this uh, first tower, the tower on the front left hand side, and then lining up and I was using the equal divisions between the buttresses and the windows in each section to move across to determine the width so I fell into the very common mistake of making my window slightly too large. It's easy to overestimate the size of something which is visually quite important. So that has affected the way in some ways the building looks and it also works to make the front wall look smaller than it really is. However, I resist the urge to start again, having just finished a video that talked about resisting the urge to start again and pushing through with the things that aren't quite right and seeing what we can do to overcome the mistakes as we continue drawing. So taking my own advice, I keep going along the wall and then I work out, I have to put this tree in so I allow for that across the front of the lower part and then I go across now with these castellated bits on top where the archers could uh, line up their bows and shoot down all the attackers. I'm not trying to be too exact with that, just trying to create the effect and I realize I didn't observe something carefully enough with the wall that in fact the castellated section doesn't go in front of the tower, the tower goes down over the top of it. But never mind. So these were incredibly tricky little roofs for the four square towers. And probably what I should have done was to have had a few dry runs, a few practice goes trying to work out exactly how I was going to draw it and get the scale of all the little bits correct. There really can be a lot of benefit in looking at some of the perhaps more demanding or more fiddly parts of a drawing and just roughing out on a sheet of paper first either how we're going to draw the shape or sometimes it's not so much the shape as the texture we want to suggest on the surface of the object can be very useful just to do a few practice runs first before we get too committed in our drawing. I certainly felt that by the time I was doing this part of the drawing and that left side wall of the tower that I had warmed up a little. I've now just switched pens to a 0 0.5 just so I can get a darker effect more quickly with this tree in the front right and also with the tree that I'm going to do in the front left. I think these really dark trees frame the tower really nicely, really effectively. It's a nice contrast to the rest of the drawing, the rest of the scene, which is all fairly straight and angular. You're watching me draw this at four times my normal speed and I think some of the, the hatching I do at the very end is even a bit faster than this. So now I'm just adding a suggestion of the stonework. The stonework on the Tower of London is fairly prominent when we see it even from a distance so I didn't want to leave the walls looking smooth. Very important to get the foreshortening correct here. The wall really doesn't um, move out very far for the final tower down the far end is in place. And that was probably the most successful roof 
to the Tower, most successful uh, copula of a fairly unsuccessful group of them, I think. Of course, if you want to draw this yourself, you'll be able to go to my channel community page and print off a copy of this photo, and then you can have a go drawing it yourself. And hopefully you can stand on my shoulders and start with the lessons I've learned doing this. So now I'm doing this uh, lower part in front, which, which actually fronts onto the river, where there's a, a river gate that provided direct access where necessary from the river to the tower. Very handy if you're wanting to move people in and out and not give anyone the chance to interfere with what you're doing. So it's the very small people that we have in the very front which give us an idea of the scale of the building. So it's good to put those in. A couple of lamps. Just suggesting a little bit of the water. I probably could have done a few more lines indicating the water coming down a bit further than what I did just thinking about it now. And now trying to do some hatching to indicate the staining on the actual waterfront wall. Which also helps to anchor the bottom part of the drawing, I think, nicely. So just working at a bit more stone texture. So as you can see, I put the emphasis on the horizontal lines because that is still the dominant line direction we see when we look at the walls. And then lots of very small dots just to indicate vertical divisions between different stones. And so now I'm just about to do this left hand tree. And there's also a few buildings, partly of the tower and partly of just London generally on the far side of the tower. And I decide that I'm going to hatch those as well, the buildings outside the tower to the left. Not so much because the tonal values in my reference need it, but simply to make the tower itself stand out, stand out a little bit more. So I'm just doing this this tree now, very quick, very gestural. I mean, this is uh, a very fast drawing, whatever else it is. And now adding some tonal values that I just keep darkening with my hatching till I feel that it defines the left side of the tower nicely. And then there's just a, a little bit more going over and making a few tonal adjustments just to create a little interest in that lower left corner. So it's not all looking much the same but just doing those final things. A little more stonework where the wall looks a little bit white. And then I think I'm done. G'day, I'm Stephen Travis. Look, I hope you found this, this interesting and even helpful. And why not have a go drawing it yourself? Print off a copy from my community page and have a go drawing it. But whatever you're drawing and however you're drawing it, make sure you have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.